What's going on, fam? Be Righteous here with another video. Division 2 video. And you know, I've been making multiple videos with different games and different content discussions and such. Just branching out to see how I feel about it. And if I want to make a video and it doesn't feel good, I'm not going to make it. So obviously I've been enjoying myself, but I had to come back here so I could discuss this issue because we don't know when season 11 is coming out, but the Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack, that exotic is going to revolutionize all builds. Doesn't matter which one. It's going to revolutionize every single build that you can think of. Go back into your builds library. Look at the best builds you ever made. You're going to have to go over them again to see how you can make it better just because of this exotic bag. Now, what I want to highlight here is something that had a lot of ups and downs. When the Hollow Man first came out before Gear 2.0, the gear revamp, it was super OP. I think it had like 50% hazard protection just for that one piece. And I remember the first build that I made called the Unrelenting. And it was the first build on YouTube that was able to achieve 100% hazard protection. And I remember that vividly because there were so many other YouTubers coming out. Oh, 80% Hasbro, 50% Hasbro, 75% Hasbro. I was talking to my girl and I'm like, look, I can't put out a video until I have 100% Hasbro. And so I was able to achieve that with the Hollow Man mask. And from the gameplay footage, I was solo in the DZ, destroying everybody with Eagle Bearer and with that build. It was pretty crazy. So obviously a lot of people were using that kind of build, getting 100% hazard protection because skills have always been OP and hazard protection is the remedy. So they nerfed the Hollow Man. Now you can only get 10% health damage, which is multiplicative. And the Yaw gear itself is what gives you the Hasbro. So they took the hazard protection completely away from the Hollow Man being exclusive for having that huge amount. But now it seems like we're back in the same spot, right? These hazard protection builds are going to be so easy to make. I remember a long time ago, I made a build called the uh, Impregnable. And you know, you guys know I love that build. I always bring it up. I even have an ability in my game called Impregnable. <laughs> Go figure. But anyways, the pieces that have hazard protection are Yaw, Seska, and 511, as far as I can tell. If there are any more, you could comment down below and let me know which ones. But the Yaw gear for the first piece is what gives you hazard protection. None of the other ones give you Hasbro for the first piece. Like Seska, you need two. 511, you need three. And nobody ever uses 511. What are you going to use 511 for? But I made an exceptional healer build that revolved around incoming repairs and repair skills. And if you didn't know, incoming repairs is the secret sauce to healer builds. That along with armor regeneration and a few other things. I'll put the build in the description if you want to check it out. But it was a healer DPS build that was insane. Now with this next season coming out, it's going to be crazy. Because with the Ninja Bike bag, now I'm going to be able to add 100% hazard protection to that build's repertoire. So healer DPS builds are going to be on the rise along with DPS builds. I think that the, the Ninja Bike bag is going to make DPS and hybrids, not necessarily skill builds, better. Because skill builds are in the realm of the Memento backpack. And that's a whole different story. But I just thought that I should highlight this because you all know that they, <laughs> they already said that they're not going to change the fact that you cannot jam a higher tier skill if you don't have that same skill tier level so you know skill builds are going to be on the rise like crazy they're going to be insane especially in pvp people are going to be abusing them hazard protection is going to be the savior so you might want to make a hasbro build with the ninja bike bag once it comes out now i'm not going to show you a template yet because i want to experience this in its full glory when the ninja bike bag actually comes out and i want to show you and i actually want to get in the lab with it so i could see it live and work on it that way i feel like i'll be doing you a disservice but i can give you some builds that already have hazard protection as a source because when i made impregnable back in the day i went through leaps and bounds <laughs> to try to make that build 90 percent hazard protection so it was a way that i could slot in any mod and be immune to three hazards like fire bleed or blind whichever one i choose because i had 90 percent hash pro but it was hard to actually get that build that way now with the ninja bike bag it's about to be insane so i just wanted to highlight that for you and let you know that this is going to be crazy if you weren't thinking about it by the way does anybody know when season 11 is coming out with everything that's been happening with the division lately i made a video just now about an article that insider gaming made and i had done further research on it after i posted the video so it is pretty legit that there might not be a division 3 in the works well, that's at least now. Who knows what they're going to do in the future? But to know that all this time they haven't been working on it is pretty crazy to think about. So I think that the way forward now is to just worry about Heartland because 
Obviously, that's the spinoff and obviously that's where they want to go. That's the path they want to take. I think that gaming in general has just been watered down, especially in a AAA area. And a lot of people, I don't think, are ready to understand that fact. Meaning, put your eyes on AA games or games in the indie space. Because these people are putting out really good quality games that a lot of you guys are missing out on because we have so much faith in the AAA world. Anyways, I'm spinning off in a whole different subject. I can talk about that in another video. I actually have one planned, so stay tuned for that. And if you like videos like this, and if you're interested in what I have to say in the future, I'd appreciate a like on the video and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with everything that I do. I'll catch you in the next one, fam. Be right out.